I'm not getting a dog. I have two sons, Joseph and Michael, and my dog, Snooky. She's a golden retriever. She's one years old, and she's a nightmare. I wanted, like, a bike or something, and then I just wanted a dog. And I said, absolutely not. Three hours later, I come home, and there's a golden retriever running around in my living room. I think they love the dog, but they just have their own lives, and they don't want to help out. You know the kids, they don't think the so they don't what are you doing? She wants me to take care of that damn dog. I'm not doing it. Let her kid take care of it. That has nothing to do with it. Just came home so to a big mess. Let him do it. I told you not to get the smart, did I? I can't stand the dog. I think the dog should be outside in a doghouse, chained up to a pole, and leave her out there. I'm really disgusted about it because nobody else helps. Nobody wants to train the dog. Nobody wants to do anything with the dog. The dog is just here destroying the home. You all use the house to have massive parties, and I'm like an idiot working, and come home to this We can't have animals. Why not? Because they don't eat for days. We're not home for days. Sometimes we're working, we're doing this. Really? Yeah. I don't like what I hear when the family tell me that they keep forgetting to feed the dog. Sometimes she doesn't eat for days on end. That's just plain neglect. Why aren't you feeding her then? There you go, I do feed her sometimes. What is this? Is this dog food? Yeah, probably from a week ago. I leave. I'm out all day till 11 o'clock at yeah. night usually. Yeah, OK, but could you feed her in the morning? Yeah, probably. There's such apathy in this home. I think the family really likes Snooky, but they just don't want to do anything to look after her. If I hear things like the dog's never fed, I go, OK, wait a second, alarm bells go off in my head, neglect. And let me tell you this plain, right? I will not leave a dog in a situation where I feel it's being neglected. Listen, I come home. Listen I'm... to me. Wait a second. This is it now, and I'm going to lay it down on the line now. I'm not going to come and train your dog until you all come to a decision about whether you're going to keep this dog or not. So what you're going to have now is a conversation amongst yourselves to see whether are we really going to work with this dog? Are we really going to put the time and effort with this dog? OK, so sort it out. Snooky is an absolutely wonderful dog. There's absolutely nothing wrong with her. She's just a puppy with puppy problems. It's the family that is the huge issue. I will not train Snooky unless they give me some kind of commitment. It's a waste of my time. She's absolutely right about the dog being neglected. But I cannot be with the dog 24-7. I feel bad for the dog, to be honest with you. I feel bad for that dog, the way she's got to live here. So somebody has to try and get home during the day to let the dog out. Thought about it a little bit, you know. If the kids see me doing the right thing, maybe the kids will do the right thing, too. My well, that's Victoria yeah. come up with a, with a plan. We'll lay out a format. You going to help? You going to help a little? Yeah, yeah. Why don't we all try it? Try it. That's it. I'll try it. You try it? Yep. I'll we'll try it. We'll all try it? Yep. All right, we'll all try it. They promised me today they would change. But things that I've been trying to say for the past year, how they should help me, and it never worked. Hi. Have you talked? Yes, we have. What's happening? I feel that I want to be your assistant. <laughs> Vic and Chat, as the dog was <laughs> All but right. listen, I'm only going to hang in there if everybody else is hanging in there. Yeah, no, no, I'm I agree. Honest with you. You know, I, there's enough on my back now as it is. This dog needs to be put on a schedule. That's and right. everybody is going to have to give to the schedule. He's here during the morning. No. no. Well, well, I can do it during the day. OK, when you wake when up. Oh, my god. You, you guys are I so lazy. You would go You slow. are so lazy. Victoria said we're all lazy. It's probably true. We're just lazy people. He sleeps in the morning because he's all riled up from last night. He? She. The dog's a female. I know, she. I hate that. <laughs> I hate him. If I was you, I'd quit. <laughs> My neighbor came over to me before, and he says, these damn kids, he said, are in and out, in and out while you're sleeping. They leave the door open, and the dog is out some nights just roaming. This is a big deal. Your dog keeps on getting out of your house because you're having friends in and out of the house all the time, the dog gets out. Well, maybe we have to train the dog not to go out. No, you don't. You need to train the freaking people. God bless it. Seriously, how much do I have to say? Do you want your dog flattened on the road? Is it funny? Joey, is it funny? I'm you laughing. want your dog squashed I'm not, on the I'm road? I'm laughing. I'm not laughing. Because I swear to God, you do that again, I'm going to get animal control here and take your dog away. And I am not kidding. I am not freaking kidding. Well, you'll never Seriously. Take that, that would never happen. I have done it before. Not here, it would never happen. You don't have any damn choice, I can tell you that. 
I have a responsibility to keep Snooki safe, and I'll do what I have to in order to do that. Well, listen, I just established that. No, I'm, that won't I, let's establish that. So let's, let's establish that. Let's, so let's, let's establish that, that I've done it before, I'm and not, I will do it again. You've done it before, but you're not going to do it here. It ain't going to happen. Well, it is. If I think your dog's in danger and your dog's neglected, yes, I will. OK. So don't, don't, just, that's I'm the not, way it is. I'm not going to say no more. You spoke, I spoke. Now let's move on All to right. how we're going to try and resolve the problem. All right, OK. So let's hope I we can resolve. I would rather resolve the problem, yes, but it doesn't seem like these guys, or I have to say, Helen, are taking any kind of responsibility. I'm trying to get through to you. But Victoria's not carrying my dog. No one's going to get rid of the dog unless I get rid of the dog. So Victoria can yak, 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 all she wants. I don't care if she calls in the YSPCA, whatever the hell you call it. I get the last say when it comes to the dog. Get the food. We're going to talk about feeding. My training relies on people working at it. I don't have any faith that any members of the family will work on anything that I give them. Part of me really wants to take Snooki out of this home right now and never come back. I wanted the family to get on with the schedule while I fed their poor starving dog. I pick up the food bowl. It's caked with dirt. Hasn't been washed in years, probably. Joey, you look like you're falling asleep. Come over here and you can see. You can watch this. Okay, Joey. Don't be too excited about it. I just cannot be bothered to get the family up, get them over to the kitchen, and have them standing there like lemons. Vic, don't you like challenges, though? Don't challenges entice you? You know what? I like challenges. You're certainly a challenge. But I just kind of get a sort of a real apathetic feeling, just from kind of. Like that you're wasting your time, you think? Sort of. No, you're not wasting your time. I'll make sure you're not wasting your time. Tori came in, smacked us around a little bit. I'm going to follow her, her routine and see what happens. I think it will work as long as we stick at it. Somehow, I kind of believe you. I will. Somehow, it feels like you're giving the most energy and that everybody else is just kind of there, like, yeah, whatever. The apathy in this family is like nothing I've ever dealt with, but I can't give up. Snooki's life is at stake here, so I have to do something, anything, that will get the family motivated. I really wanted to show the family Snooki's potential, and because Joe is training to be a volunteer fireman, I thought going down to the firehouse and seeing actual search and rescue dogs work might inspire the family, especially Joe, to work with Snooki. I wanted to introduce you to Rob and Sue from New Jersey Search and Rescue. They have their dog, Micah. Tell us about Micah. Micah was a rescue. We got him at one year old. He was given up by his family. We've been doing search and rescue, my wife and I, for quite a long time. So he immediately went into search and rescue training. One of the exercises that we'll show you here is this come when called. This is a really great game that I love to play with dogs. It's sort of the backwards and forwards game. And you can play it in your backyard. Micah, Micah, good, good boy. Good boy, good. Excellent. Good boy, Micah, come. Good, good, good. Micah, come. You'll good notice boy. one of the things that happens here is the dog starts to come back to me automatically. And that's how we built in the recall refine, because that's supposed to be an automatic behavior. Right. So this works out very well for them. Wow. Good boy. I was totally blown away when that gentleman presented that dog. Just the way the dog responded, I mean, it was incredible. You've hidden something, haven't you, here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is another thing for Snooki. Gonna really teach her how to find stuff. Okay. So you can hide it, you're gonna tell her to go find, and she's gonna find it. I want you to see how this dog does it, okay? All right. Like zoo. There's no screaming, there's no yelling. It's nice, it's peaceful. Yes! Good boy, show me. Yeah, good job, good job. I'd be very proud of Snooki if she could do that. It resembles like so much of what I do, so like to have her do that with me, that would be even great. It would be like having a partner. So yesterday at the firehouse, you saw a search and rescue dog. Today is the first step of creating a search and rescue dog of your own. Okay. And Joe, you're going to be working her. All right. I really wanted to get Joey involved in the training because besides Chet, he's the one that's most interested in working with Snooki. I'm going to basically teach her what we call nose work. It's where the dog has to use its nose to find a reward. It can take a long time to train a search and rescue dog, but I think Snooki has potential. And if that's harnessed in the right way, I think she'll be a great working dog. So I'm going to take a little cardboard box like this. Inside, I'm going to put really high value reward. I have chicken here. 
gonna put it in the box. Tell her, go find. Good girl. Now what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna put the box on the floor. I'm gonna tell her, go find. Good girl. And I'm gonna put two boxes out. Go find. Go find. Go find. Good girl. Yes. So, Joseph, what I want you to do is I just want you to pick up a few boxes, put a treat in a box, and get her to go get it. That's good. OK. Now you go tell her to go find. So, go find. Go find. Back to it. Right to it. I was very surprised that Snooki like found the treat like really fast. And when I saw Snooki do that, like I really thought, you know, that she could do this and uh, become like a rescue dog. Tell her. So, go find. Snooki, go find. Go find. Done. I'm trying to teach, and all of a sudden, Michael's yawning and Helen is on her phone. They're obviously bored out of their minds, and it's just plain rude. Seriously. It's so frustrating, but you have to pick your battles, and at least I'm getting Joey on board. How does it feel working with your dog? It feels great. Yeah? It feels like, like she actually listens to me now. It's going to create such a bond, which is awesome. Yeah. Joey is really embracing the training, having previously no interest in teaching Snooki at all. Hey, Snooky. I have to say, this is one of the most beautiful dogs that I've met. I'm just, like, shocked by, like, all the stuff she could really do, because we never, like, got the chance to do it with her, you know? I talked to the trainer from the rescue dog, and I'm, I'm, I want to do the class with her. You will get out of her what you put in. Yeah. When I see a forward progress and I see, like, something happening, like, I don't want it to stop. So I hope it, I hope it keeps up now. Snooky has so much potential. She's an amazing dog, and I really hope this family can work with her and harness the potential that she has. I hope they don't let her down. Snooki's gonna walk better, Snooki's getting fed better, you know, she just, she's getting played with a lot, you know, a lot of training. Oh, good girl. As far as I'm concerned, me and Joey have been pretty much on schedule with the dog. Mikey, he just, he just faded out of the picture again. Did you do any of the, the training I showed you? Yes, come here, girl. Sucks, want it? Sit. Sit. Good girl. Why don't you get up and do it? Michael has not been doing much at all, but Joey's been a shock to me. I thought he would never even bother with the dog. Yes, I'd like to make an appointment for uh, Snooky for the water rescue training. I'm really excited like, to um, start the rescue training. I really want to get into it. When I first came into this home, Snooky's fate was pretty dire. Now, at least Chet and Joey have really stepped up to the plate, and they continue to do work. They are going to see more and more progress in this wonderful dog.